Yeah, I mean, like the special effects were definitely groundbreaking. And like, I mean, at the screening I went to on Tuesday night, everyone was like, wow. But the art from Steve Ditko's panels in the early comics still had like the circles around Doctor Strange's hands and all that. So I think it really had a good blend. Um, but you know, for Benedict, when you got all decked out with the cloak and, and, and just really saw yourself, looked in the mirror for the first time and saw yourself as yeah. Doctor Strange, were you like, wow, this is I, cool? Yeah, I, I was sort of giddy like a child at Halloween. I just, I, it's that, it was the first moment, really, properly. And Alex spotted it, our brilliant designer, who's done a few of these films, and she went, oh, you're having the superhero moment, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, yeah, I think I am. It really was the penny drop yeah. moment for me. Uh, you know, this, this film had lots of alluring um, qualities, um, lots of things that made me really want to go to it, and this character in particular, and in particular what Scott and, and Kevin were pitching to me is his trajectory, his origin story, and where he was going to lie within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But the journey he goes on was sort of supremely important to me. And the qualities of drama, but also great humor amongst that profundity yeah. and that oddness and unique weirdness and newness that we were going to bring visually. So. Um, I would kind of put the hero thing on the back burner. So when I first had that moment, it really was quite giddy. I just did end up just giggling. Um, and then the second time it really hit home was, was, was near the end of the, the, the main body of the shoot. And when we were in New York, we were in, on Fifth Avenue. And there were as many paparazzi as there were crew. It was getting a little bit surreal. And, but we were on Fifth Avenue and running down it, and sort of jumping, well, skipping really, but jumping to fly. And there was the Empire State Building in the same uh, eye line. And it was, it was just a moment of magic to think that the, you know, the men and women that first crafted these comics on the, on the floors of some of, those, of that building and other buildings in that town. Didn't you go into Forbidden Planet or you went into a comic book I went into a comic store book there. store, which was the last day shooting in New York. And, and yeah, Scott was just like, Dude, wow. look, look, it's I have, I, I have the video on my phone. I've never sent it to anybody but Benedict. It was, our, it was, it was a spontaneous thing. He said, there's a comic book store right there. And he was in full. Someone you know, <laughs> Dr. Strange. I said, we have to go in. And he goes, he goes, we should, shouldn't we? I go, I'll film it, it'll just be us. And we were getting ready to shoot. And he said, I said, okay. And I put the camera on him and then he just said, he said, okay, he introduced himself. He said, okay, I'm about to go into this comic book store. And I followed him in. And, uh, in and character. The, 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 um, the people who were there couldn't believe that it was Dr. Strange. He just walked did you in buy a Dr. Strange? And he bought a couple of Dr. Strange comics. No, I didn't have any money, so I didn't <laughs> buy any uh, comics. But I, I offered my services. I said, look, look, if the film doesn't work out, I'll come and stack the shelves for you. <laughs> That's right. It might be a bit heartbreaking, like, oh, Dr. Strange, issue number five. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah but, I remember um, the comic book store owner said that'd be fine, but you had to ha keep your American accent. That's right. So you're going to yeah. work there. Which would have probably amused him as much as yeah. anything else. But yeah, uh, no, it was, um, it was a magic, magic moment. No pun intended. It was, it was very special and utterly, like a lot of things in this film, very uh, sort of not search for, they just, they came about for the right reasons. It really was the last place we were starting, the last shot of running away from Mads Chilson and I, and there was that comic book store, it was incredible. Okay, I just want to speak for everyone in this room. Will you please post that? <laughs> the CCTV footage has already been posted, I'm sure of that. Yeah, yeah but I'm talking about the actual spontaneous. Your one, my, yeah. my, Can I post it? I'm asking, no. I, no, that's a no. Everybody. That's a no. That's Benedict for no. Oh, no, no, was it? No, I thought it was Kevin for no. I was, I was, I was just looking at you. Okay. <laughs> I say yes. But saying no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll post it to Matt. Let's open it up to the audience here. Who wants to start with the first question? Debbie, you go first. <laughs>